So the idea today is to get this lot finished off. What do you reckon then? Oh, Richard, brilliant! Yeah, there you go. Hello, I'm Rick. Now today, it's not much of an external adventure. This is gonna be all about internal in the back garden. I've built a frame that I'm gonna mount the side of this greenhouse too. Now the idea is I'm going to have just a few bits and bobs growing. Put the veg plot in place last year so now we need to get some seeds growing. Last year we had them growing all over the house and I had a conversation with my mum about these seeds everywhere. She said what you need is a greenhouse. I said well we will do. At some point we'll get one sorted. My mum, bless her, Next thing we knew, there was a delivery. The greenhouse. Mrs B was not very happy. She didn't like the idea of being told which greenhouse she should be using. So, caused a bit of a problem. To the point that we are now moving house. However, before we do, I'm gonna put this in place here and now, start using it as much as we can before we do bugger off. So by the way, if you want to buy a house with a brand new greenhouse, then it could be for you. So yesterday, I put the foundations in place, built the border. Today, you're getting these sides together. Looks really easy. On paper. If it fits, of course it will fit. That one's gonna go there. God, I could do with more people. There we go, like that. Ooh, oh, when you get it right, it goes together really nicely. Come on, you beauty. One of the suggestions from the greenhouse company is that put the rubber in place. Seems like a bit of a good idea for the bits that are going to be at way high. Hokey cokey karaoke. Let's see if I can get it to balance right above my expensive camera. That seems like a great idea. Is that going to go underneath or on top? I've got to check that again. So it's normally quite good, it's got some pictures of everything that you've got to do. That's a bit undoing. So this bit underneath, fine. Painful. Oh, I might have to go and find some gloves, my fingers are bloody freezing. Okay, rubber, 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 rubber. This is the weather seal. The suggestion is to make sure that that is in place against these little ridges. I'm trying to find one now so I can show you what I mean. You see on the edge of here, you've got this little ridge section there and there. The aim is to get this slipped on over and coating, coating, covering all the way to protect the glass that sits on it. So the suggestion, the suggestion in the destructions is to do all of this, first of all, that's what I'm going to try and do. So, 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 we've got the rubbers fitted for a couple of these pieces, one down the edge. A bit weird, they kind of roll off a bit, so I have to watch that. So now I'm going to get them fitted, a couple of these pieces fitted in the roof, just to give it a bit more rigidity, in case, in case I knock it on the head in a bit. It's got bloody cold, I'm going to get my coat on. These thingy nuts, uh, bolts rather, slide 
spin and then they don't spin that's pretty cool and they don't fall out either so get these in place in the roof now it's really starting to take some shape now it's getting there it's getting there it's looking like a greenhouse because it's green that's better so I'll show you what we've done the last box to uncover was this base so fitted it in as best I can on top of the existing wood base I did think the greenhouse was a little bit low to be honest with you but that explains it base in place next bit get a greenhouse back on top tie it all together have house we'll move I'm hoping it'll just nicely click into place so let's see oh, perfect nicely done let's have that off so what I've done here these are ground anchors screwed them down into the ground and then bolted them to the wood frame the wood frame then has at each corner got these aluminium strips which themselves are bolted to the base frame and now I'm going to attach the greenhouse to the metal frame which is attached to the base frame which is attached to the ground bolts so that it'll be all Cornwall weatherproof at least that's the idea of it according to the destructions these are to hang off there you have one for every single bolt but fit them in there we go that's solid going nowhere how many more we got to go 17 so all of the clips now are in place I managed to figure out the brace frame for the for the door I think it might need to be moving a little bit left but the door runs as far as it needs to with the rubbers anyway One of the least favourite jobs of this whole build is putting these rubbers in place. They're there to protect the glass from the frame itself from getting too hot, but it is a real fiddly job to get these things in place. Quite a tricky one. It's a bit of a pain in the posterior. You have to get that tiny bit of rubber onto, start it off, and you can get it running. Goes on beautifully. Let's get this cut off. 20 minutes of this. This is going to protect all of the, the glass when I get it fitted. On to the, the fun bit, the last bit, which is getting the glass together, window, opening window fitted, and then I can glaze around it. Right, so I finished it last night, and this was bought by Pauline. So I'm gonna do a bit of a call and thank you. Show her what's been done. Evening. I can't, I can't hear you talking. Are you talking? Not yet, I'm not. I am now. What do you reckon then? Oh, Richard, brilliant. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's down there. I've only, I've only finished it last night. 
There we go then. Done and dusted. There we have it then. Done and dusted. Finished article. The greenhouse ready. Wow, look at that sound. Ready to start planting. Awesome. It's quite a tricky build, to be honest. Took my time on it. It's taken about a week to put together. Been doing maybe a couple of hours a day. This greenhouse is from a company called Halls. And look at this one single pane of glass made to measure for each one. The only variation for that is on the back section. I've got these like, triangle cutouts that are held in with these novel plastic double-sided pieces for glass. And then the back, you've got lots of individual pieces of glass there. There we have it, where's my coffee? So, that's that then. Done, built. Just need to grow things in it. Try not to kill them. Oh, my name's Rich, this is Lips Adventure. Thank you very much for watching. can get it to balance right above my expensive camera. Ow! Ow.